Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing some of my indirect K-pop opinions. I haven't seen this recent trend here on YouTube and I wanted to try it as well. So for everyone that doesn't know how this works, I will quickly explain. So basically I will say some of my opinions without actually saying the name of whoever I am talking about, and if you want to, you can. Guess in the comments who you think I was talking about. So now without further ado, let's begin. I cannot vibe with this one idol, they are so problematic but K-pop stands continue to praise them, and I am just sitting there like what, literally what is wrong with you all, the amount of questionable and problematic things they have done is probably uncountable, I'm honestly losing hope in humanity right now, anyways let's move on to the next one. There is this one idol that did something problematic and made me look differently on their group. I know this is wrong and that the other members have nothing to do with it, but I just can't help it. Unfortunately, I don't think I will change my mind anytime soon. I really don't have anything against the group that I would send hate to them. In fact, I would never send hate to a group just because I dislike them. I just cannot look at them the way I did before. It is honestly sad but it is what it is. There is this one song that everyone seems to love but I don't see the hype. Maybe you guys just don't have taste. No I was kidding but seriously. How can y'all like this? Did something go wrong? You guys honestly need to go to therapy because this is not it. Or in other words, I heavily dislike this song and my hatred for it will probably never go away. I really don't see the hype but music is subjective I guess. This group should seriously disband at this point. They are very problematic and I don't know why they are still around. Oh yeah and their stands are crazy. If I find out any of you genuinely like and stand this group, I am just gonna assume you are a problematic person. That block button would look so good on you. There is this group that is confusing me lately. They have positions but those aren't fairly used at all. Although I do get some decisions made by the company, specifically the one in performances, but I am still against it at the same time because of the positions, I get that this one member is a center but they are in the center all the time, and at this point it is genuinely making me go crazy. There is this other member that barely gets spotlight despite their positions, it is honestly a very big mess and the company needs to fix it. They should try and make the decisions they make according to the positions of the members. I really don't know if that is too much to ask for. I am honestly begging at this point. Their fans have also been complaining but the company does absolutely nothing. It is sickening. This group's music is so overhyped. I don't believe y'all actually stream this on the daily. I mean music is subjective but I honestly don't see the appeal. They have some good bangers but the rest of their discography just doesn't do it for me. Most of their songs tend to be so boring, though they all sound very different from one another, they still manage to sound the same somehow. I did add one song of theirs on my playlist because I liked it, the rest just wasn't good enough or I didn't discover the other good songs yet. This actually also leads me to another opinion I have, there is this one group that should stop what they're doing right now and should go back to their old self. I truly miss the old days when I genuinely liked their music, I did like their latest release but it sounded nothing like them, they went from deep meaningful lyrics to mainstream radio music, it is so disappointing, I don't mind what they are doing right now, but could they please choose another sound, that would be very much appreciated by me. This group deserves way more, they have comebacks which do very well, but the amount of time in between each comeback ID too much, they went missing for like more than one year, I think I'm not sure, but they were gone for a long time, and then they came back and their new song was very well received by K-pop stands, and they were so close to having their first win, they were seriously robbed of a first win, oh yeah and not to mention that they were so overshadowed by their sister group, but they disbanded, so there may be some more spotlight for them now. This fandom constantly claims that their group are a bunch of funny crackheads, but in reality they really aren't that funny, and that is totally fine, I feel like they force the whole funny thing on their group way too much, 
I like the group and I even stand them, and they do have a few funny and iconic moments, but if you look at it all, they really aren't that funny, the only reason why it is. Funny is because of the way the fandom edits the videos, without all the editing I would just sit there and watch with a straight face. It is also pretty hard for me to laugh when watching K-pop groups, so if a K-pop group makes me laugh, I promise that they are actually funny. Maybe my sense of humor is just different. I do have very sarcastic humor, but back to what I was saying, this group is not as funny as the fans claim them to be. Next. I am sick of all of you hating on this group. They have done something that many other groups did as well. But they got so much hate and literally became the punching bag for K-pop stands. And don't worry it wasn't something problematic that they did. This group really doesn't deserve the shit ton of hate they get. They haven't done anything wrong. They got the blame for something that the company did. Their fans tried to explain to other K-pop stands but they wouldn't listen. And instead made up scandals and rumors about the group. So people would hate them even more. I feel really sad for the group because they don't deserve it. Their chance of being the next big thing is ruined because of K-pop stands. I am never forgiving you guys for it. This group is so underrated and they don't deserve it. Their songs are better than literally half of the fourth generation. They have godly amazing b-sides and title tracks. Their company doesn't really promote them that well. So I understand why they aren't as popular. I just really want them to blow up because they are all so sweet, and they make amazing songs. Once I hit 1k subscribers I'll tell y'all who I am talking about. This group has one of the best styling but people are so blind to see it. Their fans always focus on the worst outfits but forget all the amazing outfits they had. Of course there are plenty of well, questionable outfits, but there are so many good ones, that they outweigh the bad ones. I never really see anyone appreciating their styling and it saddens me, they have had so many gorgeous outfits. But people ignore them, their recent comeback did get a lot of praise for their styling, so I hope the stylists keep this up. This will be the end of the video since I ran out of opinions, but there will probably be some more shady ones so I will see if I can make a part 2, leave your guesses down below, I would love to read them, I will see you guys next time, goodbye.